Hi, I'm Mike. I am the host of Scoutadelic, and this is my 60 second Scouter. Please be kind. Hi, Mike. If you could be any type of lashing, which one would you be and why? It would be Amy who would suggest something to do with nottage. Um, if I could be any lashing, well, it's got to be a square lashing. I get everything together. So, yeah. And it's the only one that I actually think I know. Yeah, it is. Okay, Mike, so what is your favourite colour? Let me think. What is the, your most memorable scouting experience? And who's your favourite co-host? Three in one, blue, uh, memorable experience, uh, going to New York on my 20th birthday, I love that. Um, who's my favourite co-host? Hmm. Well, Skelty, what's the furthest you've travelled? Oh, it's got to be up in Scotland uh, when I went to Thurso and did my uh, scouting episode this year. That's the furthest I've actually been scouting wise. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for giving us Scoutadelic in 2017. Each episode packed with amazing things, young people doing some amazing adventures, activities, some factual stuff, really, really good. So really enjoyed it and looking forward to another year next year. Now, you've stitched me up a couple of times. First, you gave me knots as a challenge and then a drawing challenge in the summer. So I was going to think of something really horrible to give you as a question. But because I'm feeling kind and it's nearly Christmas, I'm just going to ask you, if you could visit a scout troop anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Oh, well, thank you. Um, I think... I think it would be, I'd love to visit Australian Scouts, um, we've had quite a lot this year um, participate um, and I've never been to Australia before so I'd like to see, I'd like to go quite uh, around the world to be honest with you uh, because there's that many different variations of scouting and how they do things so I'd like to find out actually how scouting is around the world not just in the UK so that but Australia would be the one place I'd love to go right now. Hi Mike, uh, I'm here today at the North East Regional Conference with loads of amazing County Commissioners and District Commissioners. And we, are, we have a question for you. Uh, this is Ian Chappell, who's the Regional Commissioner for the North East. And he's going to give you the question, which is... Hi Mike, what is your favourite moment from 2017? Wow, my favourite moment in 2017. Um, great question by the way guys, um, I think it's got to be visiting Poacher, I've never been to a Jamboree, let alone, I know it's not an international one as in I've visited uh, a place, but I've never been to one that has had so many people, so packed with that many different things, and the Poacher guys were really great, I got to do Oggy races, um, I got behind the bar at the mocktails, um, I even went on stage and did my own version of Play Your Cards Right. So that has got to be the the me best moment this year that I've had. Um, my question for you is, if you were stranded on a desert island with five people, who would you pick and why? Bye. Five. Five people, okay. Oh well, obviously Steve Backshaw, because he's, he's ace and would probably know what he's doing. Meg Hines as well, um, she's a lovely lady, so she and uh, Steve would obviously do that. But I need some, obviously, people to entertain me. Um, hmm, um, I'm going with celebrities here, yeah, I'm not going for normal people. Sod them, if I can have anyone, I'm going to have anyone. Um, hmm, who else could I have? I would probably go with, I need like a go, so Tom Fletcher, um, he would be great because he could obviously play and he can play the ukulele so he might be able to teach me, that's something that I really want to learn. Um, ooh, I should have a look, uh, two more people, um, hmm, who do I really want to meet? Um, Tom Daly, but... 
for my own personal reasons, and that's uh, that's all I'm sticking to. And I'm trying to think, who else? Oh, Oggy. Obviously, Oggy. Oggy likes his travelling, so yeah. I'm going with Oggy as a person. Hi, Mike. Bob here. My question is. How do you feel about pop-up tents? Bye! Hmm... They're good to pop up, but they're not so good to put down. But I've seen someone drill their, like, sort of tent pegs in with a pop-up tent. Kind of confused me, but quite intriguing. They bring a drill with them to camp. Drill, undrill, gone. But yeah, hmm, I'm on the fence there, Bob. Which UK trustee would you rather be stuck on a desert island with? Me or Ashley Russell? You. <laughs> Sorry, Ashley. It's as simple as that. I'm not even going to give my reasons why. There we are. Hi, Mike. Merry Christmas. So, my question to you is what present would you like to see under your Christmas tree this year? And what presents are you most excited to give out this year? So, um, the present I love, um, anyone who knows me knows I love a bath. I love to soak in it and since I've moved house, unfortunately I've only had a shower. Uh, or I have a shower. Um, so I would love a bath. I do write to Santa Claus every year asking for a bath. He has yet to provide me. Um, so I'd like a bath, but to be fair with you, I'd probably like a few films I haven't seen. I am a big film buff. Um, and a present that I have given this year. Um, hmm. <laughs> I like, uh, I am one person. Uh, my mum always told me um, Christmas is about giving, not receiving. So I do go a bit way out. Um, I have got my mum quite a lot of gifts. Um, but I think it's going to be um, either... I either two people. Um, I hmm, probably Catherine. I she loves Alice in Wonderland, so I got her a cuddly toy. We went into the Disney store. She saw it, went ooh, and then left. I then obviously had the lunch with her. Went back into the store once we uh, once she disappeared and bought it and wrapped it up for her. So I think I'm looking forward to her going. Um, you know, it's sweet and nice and things like that, so. Mike, when and where did you get enrolled in scouting? I think we all want to know this. Thanks, Tommy. Uh, I got enrolled in Wellington St Matthews as a scout many, many moons ago. Um, and then, um, yeah, I, I stayed with the group. I left a little bit, but I came back and became a leader. How do you eat a Frere Rocher? What's your favourite thing to do at Christmas? What's your favourite campfire song? And you've got to sing it. How do I eat a Frere Rocher? I usually nibble the outside and then I eat the middle. Um, so I try to get all the nuts out. Um, oh, I can't remember what the second one was. My favourite thing to do at Christmas is stay in my pyjamas for as long as possible. Love a pyjama day. In the springtime, sing around the lake, I was walking along When I heard a great cuckoo her singing this song Oh, a kakia, oh, a cuckoo, oh, a kakia, oh, a cuckoo, oh, a kakia, oh, a cuckoo, oh, a kakia, oh I'll do anything. What do you want for Christmas? Ha <laughs> um, a bath. Not because I smell, I just want a physical bath. Why is orange your favourite colour? It actually isn't. Um, but orange is my favourite colour for scouting due to the fact when I first became a leader they had the Ice Scout brand and orange was the only one that gripped me and then it seems to be the thing that follows me around. I have orange everything now, including an orange Christmas hat. Don't know where I got it from. I'm here in Devon and I've just been given the gift of a cactus. And so my question to you, Scoutetic, is what is the most bizarre gift you've ever received from someone within Scouting? I don't get many gifts, so I don't think I've had one. I tried to think, but nothing rings a bell. I'm sorry. Either I don't get many, 
all the people like Alpha say give me stuff. Don't give me a cactus. If you could be any superhero, who would you be? Spider-Man. Hello there, Mike. It's your favourite co-host, Josh, from episode 20. Uh, my question for you is, in a game of Scout Tennis, what would be your best category? The one that you would definitely not lose at, seeing as you lost to me last time. Yeah, that's right. I remember. <laughs> my best category in Scout Tennis... Well, this is the problem. My best category is... I seem to just have a blank because you've got that five seconds, you've got a countdown and sometimes the person, obviously my other co-host, would have answered what I was going to answer. So I think the best topic is <laughs> things in micro Mike's life. Do you have a camp blanket? And if so, how many badges have you got in it? I did have a camp blanket once. Uh, many moons ago when I was obviously a wee little scout. Um, I don't know, I, when I was a cub leader I had a poncho that I would obviously wear um, and I had a cub hoodie which I put all my badges on um, so anywhere we went or anything that the cubs did we obviously had it on. Um, I think the most that I probably got is around about 30 um, but I don't have a camp blanket as such anymore. What would be your alternative Christmas dinner if it wasn't turkey? My alternative Christmas dinner if it wasn't turkey? Um, duck? Can I get away with that? No. Um, maybe beef or... Is, could I have an alternative lasagna? That would be ace. Love a lasagna. So, so my question for you is what would you like to see change in scouting? Oh, that's a... What would I like to change in scouting? I think, oh, yes, we are a youth movement and it all is all down to youth. Sometimes I feel that leaders don't get the recognition or at least the pat on the back. Now, that can be something like a thank you. Um, but that's not from obviously high up. Sometimes it can be the group itself. You know, I always made sure that I thanked all my leaders every every week um, for coming because we are vo volunteers. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I'd like to change in scouting. Um, I'd love I'd love there to be more media stuff for youth to do, such as vlogging or learning how to do digital camera work. I think that's something that I'd love to try to help out and see if I can... I don't know what I'm doing, but at least maybe give someone a spurt of going, ooh, I like to do that, or that was interesting when I did that. So, yeah, I think that would be it. What's the biggest fear that you've faced in scouting? Heights. Not a fan of them. <sighs> Definitely not a fan of them. Um, but yeah, heights heights is mainly one. Um, I, I, when I had my cup pack, I would always, I always said that anything I got them to do, I would have to do because it's not fair. And so yes, I had to do heights. I had to eat fish eyes. I had to do all this, that, and the other. But heights is heights is one fear that, yeah, I I I try my best to overcome. It's not the best, but hey, you know. Right, so we let's get this. Take one big look. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. How are you doing? So, your question. Yeah. Hot drinks or cold drinks? Cold drinks. I do like hot chocolate, but I don't do coffee or tea. Less twists or white twists? Um, <laughs> I just remember Alex P. Scadby going, the top of the Twix, and then obviously in the biscuit. Um, I'd probably go with the left Twix. Yeah. Star Wars or Star Trek? I'm a Trekkie. But I do like Star Wars. Phasers stun. Blasters kill. Oh, oh. and who's, who's your favourite co-host? I can't... They're all my favourite um, in different ways. 
Um, they have been the best people I've ever met in scouting and the future ones, you've got their high standards, I must admit. Every single one of you has been amazing, you've been my best friend, you've been someone who has taught me something brand new that I've never learnt before, um, you've, o you've opened your door and let me into your life and unfortunately you're stuck with me until someone tells me to end Scoutedelic. Um, so every single one of you is my favourite. I do possibly have ones that I chat to a lot more, but every single one of them gets at least a message at some point in the year just to say, how are you? Are you doing alright? Um, I'm dreading the day when I have 50 of you to obviously ask me random questions or be involved in a show or whatever, but here's to add another 12 to my roster next year. Thanks again. So you wanted a question, here goes. If you could be stranded with any 